how do these strategies impact customer commitment? That's a really good question, Ken. And, 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 and now I'm going to sound like an academic, and I don't want to sound too much like an academic. But let's make it really simple. But then say there's a, there's a few types of commitment that really matter. And one type of commitment we call affective commitment. And that's that I love the brand. I really, really love it. But there's another type of commitment that most of us have, and that's an economic commitment. I actually win economically from having this relationship. There's another type of commitment that you actually don't think about a lot, but actually matters tremendously, and that is a habitual commitment. I, I go here, and I, don't even, I can't even tell you why. I do it all the time. It's become a part of my lifestyle. I don't think about it. So if you have a habitual commitment, or you want a habitual commitment, that needs to be very frictionless, right? Because they can't think about you at all.